Hi everyone, my name is Cameron Gerhardt and I'm a consultant with SCM Connections. I'm here today to talk about the new 2005 version of IBP's Excel add-in. We'll cover some of the compatibility changes, new features, and walk through the system together. Before we dive into the new features, it is important to mention that beginning with this version of the Excel add-in, it is no longer an EPM-based add-on, but rather a technically independent program, and all future versions will also be technically independent. As a result, there is no backward compatibility. This means that all of your templates and favorites created in earlier versions of the add-in will be migrated on the fly and should work exactly as they did before. However, any templates or favorites created in the 2005 version or any future versions will not be accessible for users with earlier versions of the add-in as a result of the decoupling. If a user with an earlier version attempts to open a template created on 2005, they will see an error message, such as the one here, saying that they must upgrade to the new version in order to access the template. For this reason, we highly recommend that all users upgrade at the same time to avoid any backward compatibility issues. By making the add-in its own technically independent program, SAP was able to increase stability and maintainability and introduce performance improvements. Now, if you are a user that runs other EPM-based add-ins in parallel with IBP, you will no longer need to worry about the technical dependencies when upgrading either of these programs. Additionally, side-by-side -side installers are no longer needed and when upgrading to a new version of the add-in, you no longer also need to upgrade to a new version of SAP EPM. Now to jump into some of the exciting new features, we'll start with the new startup options. With the 2005 version of the add-in, you now have two new ways to jumpstart the add-in and activate a new instance. First, there is an IBP Excel add-in desktop icon, and second, there is an option in the Windows Start menu, such as this. As you can see, when launching the add-in with either of these options, Excel will open a new instance and the SAP IBP tab will be visible in the ribbon. You simply need to navigate here, select Log On, and choose the planning area that you wish to operate in. Once you log on and everything is loaded, you will be ready to use the add-in exactly as you wish. To ensure that you have access to these new startup options, make sure to keep the checkbox selected under Startup Options when the dialog box for Advanced Setup appears during the installation process. Another great new feature is the ability to simultaneously access multiple planning areas. In prior versions of the add-in, users would have to log off and log back on in order to switch from one planning area to another. Now, users have the ability to keep their existing workbook in one planning area open, then open a second workbook and log into a different planning area. As you can see here, I'm now in a different workbook that is part of an entirely different planning area. I now have these two workbooks open, each in different planning areas, and I am able to go between the two and make changes simultaneously. This is a great new feature, and it also allows users to use both a test and production tenant at the same time, which is very helpful when you are testing and realize that you need to make a change in the production environment. Next, we're going to talk about the new offline mode. Have you ever been in a scenario where you wished you had the ability to share your Excel workbook with a non-IBP user, such as a customer, supplier, or coworker, so that they could share insight about the data in your planning view? Well, now you have the ability to do just that. Simply create or open an existing planning view. Then in the data input section of the Excel ribbon, select go offline. Then save your workbook and email it to the non-user. By selecting the go offline option, the workbook is converted to remove all IBP references and formulas so that users without the add-in have the ability to open it. When the non-user receives the workbook and opens it, they will be able to change values in the data input area only. So, for example, during the consensus demand review step of the SNOP process, if I wish to send the workbook to the marketing manager to review the marketing forecast quantity, which can be seen here, I can do so. When he receives the workbook and opens it, let's say he decides that the quantity in June needs to be reduced by 1,000 units. So he changes this number from 6520 to 5520. He saves the workbook and sends it back to me via email. 
keep in mind that he is prevented from making any changes to key figure names or attribute values or removing rows or columns as this is prevented. Upon opening the workbook, when I receive it on my end, I simply click back in the data input section, go online. His changes will appear in the workbook in the data input area and I have the ability to look through them and save them by clicking save data and they will be updated in the IBP backend system. Before we wrap up, I'd like to remind you again about the backward compatibility changes and remind you to encourage all IBP Excel add-in users in your environment to upgrade to 2005 at the same time. To check which users in your environment have upgraded to the new version, simply navigate to the system monitoring app in the web UI. From here, look for the tile that says user login statistics for IBP Excel add-in and click on the 2005 version. Here, you will be able to see the names of all of the users who have logged into this version of Excel in the given week. If this is not possible for everyone to upgrade at once in your environment, we do suggest that users store templates and favorites in separate folders that indicate which version of the add-in they are accessible in. This will enable users with older versions to recognize which templates were created with 2005 and remind them not to try and open these. I hope you enjoyed learning about some of the new key features of the 2005 Excel add-in for IBP. Remember, decoupling the add-in has opened the door for SAP to develop many more feature developments, and these are just the beginning. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or want to learn more, be sure to visit scmconnections.com.